Installation steps of cargo lift. Overview of all parts. The main parts including work platform, guardrails, swing doors, guide rails, control system, fixing plate, bottom plate, fixing plates, hydraulic motor and hose. Assemble and welding work platform. Sometimes the work platform is made to be detachable type in order to minimize packing size and saving shipping cost for customer. The platform is divided into five parts, one piece of main platform, two pieces of guardrails and two pairs of swing doors. Erect the guardrail and put platform onto guardrail bottom two plates. Connect platform to guardrails by bolts. After connecting by bolts, it also needs use a welding machine to weld the joint line between railing and platform. Installation Site View This lift is installed in a warehouse shaft. Place the work platform into the pit middle area, or shaft middle area, and ensure platform is horizontal. Put the bottom plates under platform. The bottom plates are used for fixing guide rails afterwards. The distance from plate edge to pit head A and B are same distance, make sure plates in middle. The distance from plate edge to pit edge C and D are about 20 to 30 millimeters. Erect guide rails. The guide rails are normally divided into parts in order to convenient delivery. If the installation site has enough space, we can assemble the guide rails firstly before erect them up. If there is no enough space, for example, the lift installed in a shaft or the space between floors are very short, it will no need to assemble the guide rails before erect the guide rails. This lift installation site has enough space to erect the lift, so we assemble the guide rails firstly. Connect two parts guide rails with connecting rod. After putting connection rod into connection shaft, then need welding joint line between guide rails. Before welding, make sure the two parts are at same level, make sure the guide rails are straight after welding. After welding, use an angle grinder to make the inner rails are smooth, prevent platform vibrate when past the connection border.
Erect the guide rails by a crane, or chain hoists according to site condition. Put guide rails down along the rail wheels. Connect chain and wire rope to platform. There are lead screws at the bottom of chain and wire ropes, which can adjust the tightness of chain and wire rope. Take down the hose burst valve from the oil tube. Connect hose burst valve with hydraulic cylinder firmly. Connect oil hose with hose burst valve. Connect oil hose with hydraulic power unit. Fix bottom plate to pit 4 by expansion screws firmly. Connect control system. In most cases, there are total 8 wires come out from the control box, 2 wires for control panels, 1 wire for motor power, 1 wire for motor solenoid valve, 1 wire for door interlocking, 3 wires for limit switches.
This is the drawing to show 8 wires come from control box. Before delivery, we already assembled the wires mostly. Only the solenoid valve wire and door interlocking wire are cut into two parts. The two parts could connect easily by patch plug. Connect power line to air switch. Connect motor line to UVW terminals. After completing the above steps, turn on the air switch in the electric control box and observe whether FFA's order protector displays normal. If the digital jumps, it means there is miss phase or default phase. Fix motor wire, motor power line and solenoid valve line. As described above, the motor line connects to control box, the solenoid valve line connects by patch plug. Add hydraulic oil into hydraulic power unit. If the temperature is below 35 Celsius degree, need use number 32 hydraulic oil. If temperature is beyond 35 Celsius degree, need use number 46 hydraulic oil. As hydraulic oil is forbidden shipped on sea, so you need buy hydraulic oil at your local market, which is easy to find. After connecting the power line and motor lines, build oil, then we can press the manual buttons to test the lift up and down. Fix limit switch onto fixing plate. The fixing plate for limit switch is already welded to guide rails in factory. There are slide way hole on fixing plate which could adjust limit switch position along the slide way. There is a block on the work platform. The block will touch limit switch when raise or decline. When block touch limit switch, the lift will stop moving. Upper floor limit switch. There is a safety switch, fixed 5 cm higher than floor limit switch. In case following floor limit switch failure, it will work to prevent accidents. Fix guide rails to building. Welding guide rails to bottom plates, make sure the guide rails are vertical, then welding. Steel tubes for fixing. Cut steel tube into pieces for guide rails fixing. Weld steel tubes to guide rails and fixing plates which are fixed on floor by set screws. Make holes on floor by electric drill. Fix the fixing plate on floor by set screw firmly. Weld small piece steel tube to guide rail and fixing plate. 